Hi, my name's Kim Greenblatt. Today we're going to be talking about something called the Texas Sharpshooter Fallacy. And to help me out, I've got my son Jacob. Say hi, Jacob. Hi. Hi. Um, Jacob, first if you could get me getting a shot here. All right. You'll notice, uh, get back, I don't want to get paint on it. Uh, I'm going ahead here, and I'm just taking my shots with my paint gun. And you'll see really, even though I am quite a marksman, I'm not really trying for anything here and just kind of making a mess of things. It's empty. It's empty, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, let's see if I can get one more. Okay. I'm going to have Jacob go ahead then and get his gun so he can start setting up uh, some more shots. And I'll explain as I'm going along. The Texas sharpshooter fallacy is just something which is pretty important when you're gambling. It also is important any kind of study which you're going to be doing or any kind of statistics. Uh, Jake, go ahead, sir. Good form. And just try one more. We'll get one more for that. It's empty. It's empty? Okay. All right, could you... Come over here then, and if I could trouble you to go back and videotape me. Part of the fallacy is this is based on a story that Texas sharpshooter, and I suppose it could be any state of the Union, would just go ahead and shoot the side of a barn, and then afterwards what they would do is just draw a bullseye of where the target was. So the sharpshooter will come across looking like, wow, what a great shooter.